iPod Touch 4 Wireless Antenna Repair Warning! This repair will void your warranty. You are performing this repair at your own risk. We claim no responsibility for any damages that might occur. On a level scale, this is a medium repair and it will take about 20 minutes to complete. To perform this repair, you will need double zero Phillips screwdriver, spudger, metal pry tool, tweezers, heat gun. Optional, we recommend using Magmat for all your repair needs. To see Magmat in action, see our Magmat video. All these products and tools can be purchased at iPhoneRepairMiamiBeach.com Turn off your iPod. Use heat gun at the low heat settings. Heat the glass for about 45 seconds and make sure not to melt plastic parts. Insert metal pry tool between the front glass panel and the black plastic bezel. Start prying near the home button and work your way upwards. Be careful not to damage the home button flex and the wireless antenna in the top left corner. Disconnect the LCD flex cable. Remove the following three Phillips screws. Remove the following five Phillips screws, securing the metal plate to the housing. a sponger to remove the camera cover. Insert the metal pry tool under the steel plate at the bottom left corner. Twist the pry tool to separate the plate from the adhesive securing it to the loudspeaker and motherboard. Be careful not to tear the volume flex cable. Slightly tilt the plate to remove it from the housing. Be careful not to tear thin copper tape. Remove the following three Phillips screws. Use a spudger to pry out the back camera away from the housing. Use a spudger to lift up the motherboard. Be careful not to tear the power button flex cable. Gently pry the front camera away from the housing. Use, Use tweezers to peel the Wi-Fi antenna off the back housing. Disconnect and remove the antenna. To reassemble your device, follow the steps in reverse order. Note: When closing iPod, make sure digitizer cable is folded inward. If you get white screen after reconnecting the front glass assembly, perform a hard reset by pressing and holding down power and home button until Apple logo appears. 